Mars is a dry, frozen world today. But one day, if entrepreneurs like Elon Musk have their way, human colonists could call it home. On Tuesday, Elon Musk revealed his vision for sending humans to Mars with the help of an interplanetary transport system. Speaking at an international space conference in Mexico, Musk said his goal for manned missions to Mars is to turn humans into a multi-planetary species. Musk plans to send humans to Mars, he says, with the help of giant reusable rockets that would be more than 300 feet tall and twice as powerful as the Saturn V boosters that send U.S. astronauts to the moon. The rockets would first lift a carbon fiber spacecraft into orbit and park it there. The booster would return to Earth and be loaded with a propellant tanker that can refuel the spaceship waiting in orbit and send it off to the Red Planet. The spaceship would also be equipped with wings of solar panels that help carry it to Mars. Each ship would carry 100 to 200 passengers and enough cargo to help build self-sustaining colonies on the Red Planet. Musk envisions that eventually there might be hundreds of thousands of humans living on Mars. One of the major hurdles of a mission to Mars to date has been the astronomical cost of getting a spacecraft into deep space. Musk said Tuesday he may be able to bring the price of a trip to Mars down to just $200,000 per ticket with the help of reusable rockets and spaceships that can be refueled in orbit. Musk says if things go super well, the first crewed mission would happen in about 10 years. He aims to fund the endeavor with a combination of private sector and government investments and other sources of money. The plans announced on Tuesday come less than a month after a SpaceX rocket exploded on a launch pad in Florida's Cape Canaveral. A journey to Mars remains a formidable challenge for SpaceX, which has not launched a single manned mission to date. Among the many technical hurdles of a crewed mission that are currently unsolved is the challenge of protecting humans from the radiation levels they would be exposed to in deep space.